So uh, the, the thing that really fascinates me about Facebook's relationship with the environment, uh, and I'm going to use environment to include actual um, ecosystems, but also the, the built environment of our world. Um, but what really fascinates me about Facebook's potential relationship to that is the way that it can um, empower animals, ecosystems, communities, uh, buildings, sort of living structures to have a voice, uh, to become uh, Facebook friends effectively. So if you're uh, a, a curator or, or um, a philanthropist who's uh, donated to protect a patch of ecosystem within the Amazon and that ecosystem is instrumented with sensors. Um, it has cameras to watch the movements of animals and the incursions of humans. Um, imagine all of that as a Facebook uh, friend or, or a Facebook entity that you can subscribe to its information, that it is effectively communicating to you in real time about its state. And you as a curator can interact with that. You can communicate out into your social networks on its behalf. You can donate to the, uh, the in the field um, caretakers. Um, so I think there's a really fascinating capacity for Facebook to give voice to the environment um, and to bring the environment more closely into our lives and to share it non-locally across the world as well.